the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh. I'm alive. Now thanks to this game though. Alright. Back on track. Much better. Hello there, my friend. How's it going? That's good. Say, do you know Jackie Chan? Well, actually, I think you do know Jackie Chan. So I don't really need to bother explaining about him, but I shall nonetheless. Jackie Chan is to be considered as one of the biggest martial arts superstars on the planet. Alongside Chao Yong Fat, Keanu Reeves, Tadakashi, Kaneshiro, Jet Li, Bruce Lee. Oh boy, there's a lot of them. So, within the popularity of Jackie, it busted out an animated TV series in the year of 2000 for the kiddies to go wild, and it lasted for a good five years. In those years of childhood, I only saw about four episodes at an old friend's house because I didn't have own cable. I still don't. That doesn't mean I didn't see it around the place. There were fellow students collecting the cards, the talismans, the books, and they were all placing them in their tin boxes. Me, on the other hand, I own the PS2 game. Released only in Europe in the land down under, the land down under, this relic was released on October 1st, 2004, when Jackie Chan Adventures was in its fourth primary season. Surprisingly, the game was actually published by Sony itself. But, on the other hand, it was developed by Atomic Planet, who made such games as Miami Vice, Jenga World Tour, Taito Legends 2, to Charlotte's Web, Bob the Builder, and Top Gun. I'm afraid now. Let's hope that this game delivers on the title alone. I'm in the zone right now. I'm confident this game is gonna beat my expect- Shut up! Mm, I know it! What the hell, Jackie? Oh! Oh! Fuck! Oh. Don't mess with Jackie. <sighs> time to start a new game. But before we do so, it's time to put on them nostalgia goggles. This intro is absolutely awesome. It's fast paced, shows what it needs to show, and has an awesome groove. You even see real life Jackie pop up, just for my five year old self to say, Ooh, that. Now, can the game do what the show don't? Fetch Uncle Cup of Tea. Uncle Strong very dry. Right away, Uncle. Oh, 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 oh dear. W was the voice acting always this tacky in the show? I'm, I'm not specifically saying the voices are bad. I'm talking more of the flow and delivery of the conversation. It sounds like a first read-through. If I was told by uncle to head off to Mexico, I would have put a lot more emphasis on my question instead of this. Hurry up! When you've done that, you're off to Mexico. Mexico? 
Why am I off to Mexico? And then the audio sounds static like when Jade talks. Come on, Jackie, let's go! Sounds like they ripped the audio straight from the show. Oh. Our first expedition in this adventure is to find something interesting for Uncle in Mexico. Nothing specific, just interesting. I could find a 15 year old Happy Meal promoting the Emperor's new groove and it'd be considered a rare gem. Maybe I should try that door up there at the top of the temple. Yes, Jackie. Yes, you should. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what the shit is that? Jackie is going full on with the Looney Tunes right there. Slow down on the road, run a feed, Jackie. What? 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 Wait, what? And out of nowhere immediacy, we are fighting these phantom ninjas, and they last as long as a cup of orange juice. The melee is very simple, square for punches and triangle for kicks. You can change the style of attacking by pressing buttons in different free hit combos, but it 100% surely becomes same old, same old very fast. On a side note, the fighting music is pretty neat. Anyway, time to climb this thickly black outlined temple with green vines. Hey look! Generic pots that contain an assortment of goodies. And by goodies, I mean the occasional playing card, health orbs, and power orbs that make Jackie's face icon on the top left all giddy inside. Also, is it just me or is there a slight hit delay when I punch the pots? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the only one seeing that, right? Can you see that, James? Yes, I can most definitely see that. <laughs> Unbelievable. I would demonstrate how to punch a pot, but one, I don't have any pots around, and two, no. Ten minutes later, climbing this godforsaken clay-coloured temple, Jackie finally goes inside to meet one of the most wondrously annoying save game points ever, the Chinese tradesman. Screw the typewriters, screw going to bed, screw going to the toilet, screw bonfires, and screw pausing the game and pressing the save game button. We've got this guy who was filled with jam jars of Jar Jar. Fortunately though, he was given a dash of likability and charm. I mean, look at him. True gentleman of the mainstream. My question is, how the hell did he get in here with the Phantom Ninjas? Meh. I tell you what, fellow traveler, I love adventure stories, but I'm terribly forgetful. I always need to write everything down in my little red book. How about I make a note of you in my journal? Hmm, would you like that? Ready for booby traps? Just watch me, Indiana Jones, this stuff. Pure professional of the nonchalant exploration. Oh boy, a stone block puzzle with creepy faces. I'm so excited that I just can't fight it. After the tediousness, easiness of that puzzle, we find our first talisman, the rabbit. It's ours for the taking until, uh oh, a disco bob dressed rat a tat -a face appears. <laughs> How'd he get here though? Uh, you are mistaken. I'm just here on holiday, sightseeing. Uh, mustache, see you later. Yo, 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 Jackie, I, 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 I think he bought it. I really think he bought it. Oh wait, he didn't! <sighs> Meh. Just beat him up repeatedly to the point where he can't attack you and he'll be travelling back to the 70s discos in no time. Or runs away like a generic cartoon villain, saying the cliche lines of, I'll get you next time. Alrighty then. Jackie phones up Uncle about the talisman, but Uncle says that there are three within that temple, but I'm too distracted with the way Jackie is holding the mobile. For lack of holding, there is. Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta make a phone call. Hello? Hi, this is James, calling from James's house. I just wanted to tell you that I'm holding my phone by the palm of my hand. Ow. We've acquired the rabbit talisman for full potential use. Man, oh manly man, ma'am, 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 is it fast, especially against these phantom ninjas. 
I didn't even speed that up. Jackie leveled up from Roadrunner to whatever's faster than the Roadrunner. Moving on, we can finally get through this door and power slide our way through with no sweat. Man, I'm a pro. More minuscule yet larger than life obstacle courses later, and we finally come to snuff the rooster talisman. Yeah! And surprise, surprise, Disco Bob and his friend, who looks like a human version of these bugs in a bug's life. I have no goddamn clue. I'll go with the glasses, but how the hell did they get here? I asked this question before, but this time, they couldn't have. Not without the rabbit talisman. Oh, forget it, it was Disney magic or something. And just like before, we beat the crap out of them till they run off again. Thank God for rabbit speed. Just so you know, from now on, I'm not going to be talking about graphics, unless I really have to if it hinders the experience. But so you know, I like the style. The cell shading implements the way of the show if it was in 3D, and it doesn't give me a headache. Except for that talisman deactivation sound effect. Seriously, kill that noise. And might I add, the contrast is divine. Each area looks like a comic book page with the vast colours and black outlining. Get off the sidetrack, James, you'll get run over. More platforming puzzles later. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is one cryptic temple, I must say. Jackie can do this because he's Jackie, but I'd love to see some Indiana Jones, Milo Fatch, or Peter Frickin' Rabbit to do all this. On towards the third talisman, and it ain't there. But you know what is? Yes, you guessed right. Disco Bob, a bug's face, and Frankenstein's monster on a business trip. You're not going anywhere until we have the talismans. Shut up! Yay! The whole Free Stooges act is here. And what do I do again? Oh yes, beat them up and watch them run like a I'll get you next time gadget cliche. So the bull talisman isn't at the temple, but where? Uncle informs us to search a nearby town in Mexico for it. All right, let's go. Jackie makes his way over to the town and hey Jade, what is with people just showing up randomly? Jackie's as surprised as me. Ugh, whatever. The bull talisman is on this famous Mexican wrestler and we gotta get into the match. I still can't get over this unbelievable run. Who runs like that? Uh oh, the match has been cancelled due to the band losing a drummer. Never fear though, Jade is here to help with a crappy and mediocre river minigame. Music is pretty Gucci though. Speaking of which, I love the soundtrack so far. It encompasses the locations that we've traveled, which has been one. After the band are praising Jade as a drumming sensation, is she the new goddamn Stuart Copeland or something? The show must go on and of course, because Jackie is the starlight of this game, he gets picked out to fight El Machinacho Libre Dole Española in the ring. It flows with a simple pattern, wait for him to grab you and throw him overboard five times. And after achieving that goal, he gracefully gives you the talisman off his belt. What a nice man. That was the prologue alone. In episode one, Jackie is to head to a secret intelligence base and retrieve intel on the next whereabouts of the talismans. At least from what I think of. So now we get to go outside and discover the world of Jackie Chan adventures. Looky look here, a skipping rope minigame. This ought to be fun. Yeah, nope. Thank you. No. So, is Jackie Chan Adventures for the PS2 worth a play? Hard to say, I only got through the first hour of it. But from that hour of game time, sure. Why not? I mean, if you got nothing else to play in the world, or you're a big big fan of Jackie Chan Adventures, then I guess go for it. That's as high as my recommendation can go. It just peaks at average for me. I don't really know why I bother talking about this though. 
No one in this day and age is going to flash a light bulb and go, Oh yes, I've been waiting endlessly to see a video about Jackie Chan Adventures for the PS2. That stuff don't happen anymore. This is a 2004 Jackie Chan game based on a television series based upon a famous celebrity. No one cares. So why should I care? Yeah, I'm... I'm done. You know my name. See you next time.